trying to figure out PKs this year. We had a lot of really good PK options. And uh, Zach comes up to us. Uh, and this was like end of the regular season. And he's like, I just want to let you know. We get a PK. I'm fine with anybody else, whatever you want to do. But if we get a PK, I want to take it. And he walks away. And he comes back. And he goes, and I'll score. <laughs> uh, so we were rotating PK guys, and we had kind of committed to different guys taking them so they couldn't get scouted and stuff like that. So I don't know. We kind of used, I think he hit one before the conference final. I don't know. Is it McDaniel or something? Is that, is that right? And I'm like, so it got hit. I'm like, all right, the rule, you can't take it. We're going on to the next guy. And our staff is all looking at each other, and we're like, it's cold. This, is, this moment is his, and uh, and I'm just kind of so happy for you that you're able to have it. So, and when it's the conference, eventually I'm, I'm your kind of your goal. So, uh, how you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, what have the last four years meant to me? To be honest, that is an intimidating question for me to answer. When I sat down to finally write the speech, my heart began to race. It was racing up because I was nervous to give the speech, which I most certainly was and still am. Um, but at that, genuinely had that much to say. So with that being said, here goes me trying to capture the last four years and also my entire soccer career and all the people who have made me a better person along the way. Uh, for starters, let me say that soccer has been everything to me. I started playing the sport when I was three and never really played anything aside from it. I love the game and I've learned so much about myself through it. It has been my first true love and my fun. It has given me grit, a tough exterior to roll with the punches. It has molded me in the best of ways, and some of my earliest memories are just kicking the ball with my dad, being driven to practice by my internally encouraging and loving mom. Uh, we're getting scolded for bringing my dirty soccer ball in from, out, from outside and playing with it inside. I think I, think I still do that one, actually. Um, as I'm sure lots of you know, uh, my family and I lost my dad, Mark, when I was 14 years old. Um, his death was sudden and shocked us all, say it in the lightest of ways. And from that point on, soccer was not only my love, it, uh, it was my escape. It always gave me a place to go. Uh, I would go outside and kick balls against the white lawn on our alpaca farm in New Jersey for hours. As I'm sure my mom would be the first to tell you, the marks and damages to that barn are still there today. Um, what can I say? I've always been pretty good at hitting the ball <laughs> um, The road to college ball for me was a long one in terms of finding the right place. The places I thought I wanted to go fell through for one reason or another. But during my PG year at the Lawrenceville School, I remember getting a call from a 717 number. Uh, I let it go to voicemail, and when I listened to it, it was from Don. And uh, I called him back, and he offered me a spot with the dips. My reaction was just pure happiness after such a long road of recruitment. Finally, I had achieved my goal of college soccer at a place that checked all the boxes for me. But I did not know how much the place that I was going and the people I was to meet would impact me and help me and help form me into the man I am today. Freshman year, at least as a soccer player, was tough for me. I didn't play as much as I wanted, and I felt like I could not do the thing that I loved most. But I put my head down, kept working, to be the best that I could be. The year ended with limited playing time for me, but I was not phased. When I was a sophomore, Wags asked me potentially the hardest question I'd ever been asked up until that, uh, that point, sitting in his car before practice. He said, why do you play soccer? It's a tough one. Uh, uh, you know, sat back and I said, because it gives me an escape from everything else. And he said back to me, he said something that always sticks with me. He said, no, and I'm paraphrasing here. No, you play because you have God-given talent and ability in the sport, and it's your duty to bring that to its ultimate end. Powerful stuff. Powerful because within that advice is, forget everything else and just be the best player you can be, but on a deeper level, in terms of this program, I needed, I needed to invest more in my brothers. So with that conversation, along with a few others, I threw myself into getting to know the people I shared the team with. I knew them well already, um, but I wanted to be as close as I could be with these guys. So this is my biggest piece of advice to the younger members of the team. If you look around this room, you should be able to confidently say that all of these guys have run through a brick wall for you. I think on some Saturday nights we actually try to do that. At least we <laughs> uh, But seriously, the fact that I was on the team with my best friends and I get to wake up every day living in a building full of my best friends makes me feel like the luckiest man in the world. I think I'll miss us sitting on a couch, just hanging out after class and making each other laugh the most. So if you can't say with assurance the things I just mentioned, I would argue that you have not done enough to invest in those around you. Change it. The people of this program have made the last four years for me. From the coaching staff to the alum to all the younger guys, you all hold a very special place in my heart. I love you all. Thank you.